Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, in this video I'm gonna show you my first pizza cooked in a Unicoda oven. But before starting remember to subscribe my channel, click the bell to receive the notifications, leave a comment and thumbs up if you like the video. As you know from my previous video, I recently bought a new oven, the Unicoda. My first impression was pretty positive, as it was nice, tiny and light. But the best metrics to evaluate an oven are the reliability, the convenience and its performance. That's why I decided to test the oven with a margarita pizza. The recipe is pretty simple, 65% hydration, 24 hours fermentation and 260 grams per pizza bowl. I preheated the oven for about uh, 25 minutes and I made sure the bottom was below 400 degrees and the top over 500 degrees. This is the 260 grams pizza bowl, I've just moved into a bowl for the usual flower bath. It would be very important to gently handle the dough, as we have to keep the oxygen in the crust and preventing to flatten it. So, push softly while you are covering the dough. Remember to remove the flour from the dough, otherwise once cooked the pizza might become bitter. Start stretching from the middle of the dough and push the oxygen to the crust. Repeat that until the pizza looks um, fairly stretched. Don't make it too big at this point, as we'll make sure to fix its sides once the pizza will be on the paddle. Then you could also use the slapping technique, the one used by Neapolitan Pizzaioli, but even in this case, make sure the pizza isn't bigger than your two hands. It's now time to add some toppings. Let's start from tomato first. This is passata, passata I made. You can add roughly a big spoon just to prevent to make pizza too heavy. Then some mozzarella cheese. This is proper mozzarella. It's not mozzarella for pizza, specifically made for pizza. So it's fairly wet. So we'd be better cutting it before, at least 30 minutes before preparing the pizza. Then some fresh basil leaves, just taken from the plant. And some cheese, grated cheese. In my case it's a bit of parmesan, bit of pecorino romano cheese. I'd say 50-50. And now it's time to move this margarita on the Unicoda paddle. This paddle is very handy as the holes make sure no flour will remain under pizzas. Make sure to grab pizza properly and don't crush the crust. Try to stretch it for the very last time to match the sides of the paddle. Don't exceed the sides of the paddle, otherwise the pizza won't fit the door of the oven. Last topping, some extra virgin olive oil. Remember to draw a sort of number 6 to have a, a point of reference in terms of quantity and where the oil should be added. Are you ready for the magic? It's time to try the Unicoda! Let's cook it! You are gonna watch the real time cooking, no edits, no speed up, it will be the actual time spent to cook this margarita. In the meantime, I've added a couple of links below in case you were interested to purchase the Unicoda. It's uh, 269 euro or 245 pounds or 299 dollars. Once you open the store page, click on the flag and change it to select the European, the British or the American one according to the currency you will be using. I've also added the link to the page of the paddle, which is 59 euro, 55 pounds or 60 dollars. In the meantime, it looks like this pizza it's cooking very well. There's a fair gap between this pizza and the flame because it's well protected by the aluminum band you see at the very bottom. It's now time to turn this pizza to facilitate the cooking of the opposite side. And just to clarify, I'm using the same technique that Uni showed in their videos to turn pizzas. This is why I decided to not to use any turning peels to turn this pizza. Okay guys, so thumbs up if you like this video, otherwise 
remember to leave a comment and to let me know what you think about this video and about this oven and then remember to subscribe my channel and to click the bell to receive the notifications then remember there's my pizza class on Udemy called the art of pizza making and I am on Instagram as Gigio Pizza and on Facebook as Runaway Dough so we are over one minute and as you can see there still is one pizza side that needs to be finalized will be the oven able to cook under 100 seconds but before discovering this I would like to clarify that I stopped the timer every time the pizza was out I don't know about yourself but these last seconds are making me feel very anxious so we are approaching the famous 90 seconds all right pizza is still there few seconds more and here we go it's 95 96 seconds for my very first pizza cooked in a unicoda oven the oven did its job very well preheated in 25 minutes the flame was easily controllable and not too close to the pizza but let's see how the pizza looks like hmm i'd say the result is very good uh, you know i'm a pizza perfectionist and i believe a couple of areas on the crust are overcooked I think it's the first part of the pizza that I cooked but for sure now I learned how long I have to keep each side inside the oven anyway the crust looks very very good bubbly soft and the pizza itself looks uh, foldable and this is the area which got slightly overcooked and to be honest in many pizza places this is the normality the pizza sides is the same as the rockbox pizzas and this is the bottom to be honest I'm very happy of the bottom I never got any results like this with the Rockbox oven never maybe this could be because of the corderite Unicode I used for their stones I don't know I'm not an expert and now it's time to do the legendary slicing test the purpose of this test is to check the inside of the crust to see if it's raw or it's well cooked and finally to discover how oxygenated the crust looks like and by the way the first impression is about the softness of this pizza which is 100% foldable and here we go this is the inside of the crust which looks fantastico it looks very well cooked and there are many many holes so actually the Unicoda did its job great look at the other side it looks amazing I'm very happy about my first pizza and about this Unicoda and between us I couldn't really miss the chance to try this pizza and it tastes amazing so guys thumbs up if you like this video otherwise ah, leave a comment let me know what you think about this video about Unicoda subscribe my channel and click the bell to receive the notifications remember my pizza class on Udemy the art of pizza making to learn how to make pizza properly sorry guys but I have to eat the rest see you next time we want to eat pizza the room for pizza is always there but your eyes are wide open for pizza Hey, 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 where are you going? I was just joking. So, like this video to watch more, leave a comment, subscribe my channel, ring the bell to activate the notifications, and enroll my pizza class on Udemy. Link in the description. Follow me on Instagram as Gigio Pizza, on Facebook as Runaway Dough, and use the hashtag Gigio Pizza when you publish your pizzas. See you next time!